Welcome to Not Without Coffee with Glenn Mathis for the coffee connoisseur who wants to know more about their cup of ambition. Join Glenn as he uncovers some fun facts about coffee and coffee history, his own storied past with this bean brew, and some new coffee trends on the horizon. Glenn has his cup. It's time to grab yours and start this episode. Not Without Coffee. Here's Glenn. Hey, fellow coffee lovers, welcome back. Podcast episode number 29. Can you believe that? We've made it to 29. You know, I am so excited about doing this. And the reason why is because I want to reach out to all my coffee lovers. And even if you're not a coffee lover, but you love listening to you, I want to reach out to you too. Because more than anything, we need more peace and relaxation in our life. Stress-free, drama-free, one cup at a time, no tears, no drama, no politics, no stress. Just relaxing back, drinking a cup of coffee. Now, today's topic in podcast episode 29, are you team coffee or are you team latte? Now, I did this episode about a year and a half ago and got a great response from it. And I decided to go ahead and do it again. Uh, We're going to go over who, you know, what surprised me about that. And I did a little survey with it was the age difference in, you know, who preferred coffee and who preferred the latte. And I'm thinking that the boomers and Gen Xers, which is me, would prefer coffee. And I'm thinking, you know, Gen Y, millennials, would be more team latte, but it was actually more one-sided. And I'm going to go over that later in this podcast. But let's go ahead and get in our relaxation mode. You know how we started? We started with three deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Oh, yes. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Fellow coffee lovers, we are relaxed. We are sitting in our room. We got our feet propped up. We got our coffee sitting kettle going. I got the music in a moment. Got you covered there. And we're going to go over the coffee. The simple brown or black water, right? We're going to go over that in a few in a little detail with that and the latte. And this podcast episode is... Are you team coffee or you team latte? Which one are you? And I got the music right here. Tell me what you think about this little piece. It's not overbearing. It's not blaring. It's smooth and relaxing. You know, just how we want it to be. We got to get in that zone. We got to enjoy our cup of coffee with that peace and quiet. Here we go. Tell me what you think about this little piece here. Now, fellow coffee lover... I got this little piece here. I definitely know you're going to like it. It's peaceful. It's relaxing. It's soothing. You know, nothing overbearing. Just easy going. That's the way we are. That's how we roll up in here. We're all about relaxing, unwinding, a stress-free kind of chilling out. Now, also, let me go over that candle scent. I got this candle scent uh, from Bath and Body Works. It's a really good scent. It's called Whipped Coffee. It's kind of a smooth. It's smooth, but it's kind of a bold, a smooth and a bold type thing at the same time. It's not overbearing and hits you in the face, but it's it's a subtle and a gradual kind of overtaking smell. Really, really good. Got a sweet smell to it also. I definitely highly recommend it. Again, that's Whipped Coffee. Now, the piece that I got going to music, of course, it's a low, relaxing melody. And let's go over for the coffee lovers, and we'll save the lattes later on. Coffee lovers, we're, we're simple. We're easy to please. Give us our coffee, a little cream, and for me, and that's it. Now, others may vary. I've seen people do a good 10 to 20 second count while pouring the sugar and coffee. And some do no coffee. And some even just like plain dark coffee. Are you a dark roast or a light roast coffee? Uh, Please tell me your opinions really mean a lot to me. And they matter. I want to do a little survey, another survey this year. I got a few more listeners this year than I did the last year. So I definitely want to go over that piece. And now for the latte people. 
You know, latte, the thing with coffee and latte, latte comes in so many different flavors. I can't really cover one. I mean, we're talking, oof, about 30 plus flavors. Now, I like some latte. I don't get me wrong. I like latte. But it's still second to my plain coffee. Coffee and a little cream. You know, I guess I'm old school like that. All my old school coffee drinkers, be sure to shout out to me. All the latte drinkers, be sure to shout out to me also. Now, my wife is a latte person. Uh, she prefers that caramel mocha latte thing. And uh, that's pretty much what she sticks with. Now, also, uh, there is a difference between, a big, big difference between, you know, the latte. Latte is actually even more milkier than a frappuccino, a cappuccino. In fact, latte is Italian for milk, uh, which is a literally good makeup anywhere from about, I want to say 20 to 30 percent of the milk or milk froth. It just goes in the latte and the different flavors of the latte. Every now and then I like a latte, but I'm going to stick with my old true blue plain coffee and a little cream. Coffee lover, what do you like? How does it make you feel? Does a latte maybe give you a little boost, uh, maybe because it's more sugar sometimes? Or would you just rather relax with a cup of hot coffee? You know what's good with both a latte and coffee? You know, a great view, a great location, a great book. How about even a great coffee podcast? Hint, hint. It goes a long way, doesn't it? It helps that coffee feel smooth or that latte goes down just as easy it's all about how you feel team latte or team coffee for the coffee lover or latte lover which one are you hey email me your opinion at notwithoutcoffee.com you can contact me there love to hear from you you know brothers and sisters of the brew there are really only two types of coffee there's the arabic or some people say aerobic and the robust now, as far as latte is concerned, I mean, the flavors are endless. Mocha latte, uh, chocolate latte, chi latte, iced caramel latte, a maple cinnamon latte. That's a really good one. I've actually had that one. I mean, the flavors go on and on. And there's even a pumpkin spice latte. And a few podcast episodes, I mentioned my invention of a new latte. I want to call it the sweet potato latte. I'm going to actually do a video on YouTube of that. You know, let me know if you in the comments uh, if you want to hear that. If you want I mean, see that, you want me to do that. An actual sweet potato or yam latte. You know, if they can do a pumpkin latte, why can't they do a sweet potato yam latte? Don't you think that sounds good? Hey, email me your opinion on that also. Well, you know, coffee lover, we've come to the end. And I really want to appreciate and thank you for listening. You know, as an added bonus, you know, I want to do a giveaway. Yes, you heard right. I want to do a great giveaway. Email me at, at go to my website, nowwithoutcoffee.com. You can contact me there. And I'm going to give the winner or the first person who mentions my favorite coffee of all time. I mentioned it a few podcasts ago. And if you email me that answer, I will have a free box of my favorite coffee sent to you, directly to you. That is my bonus. And fellow coffee lover, thanks for tuning in. How do you start your day? How do you help finish your day? That's right, not without coffee. Remember, sharing is caring. I know you know some fellow coffee lovers who need to relax and unwind with a cup of coffee and me, of course. So sharing is caring. Give them this podcast. Not without coffee podcast. I was lost for words a few minutes there, but I'm back. So sharing is caring. You take care and drink safe.
fellow coffee lover. Thanks for listening. Be sure to tune in every Saturday morning, Central USA. Also, sharing is caring. So tell a fellow coffee lover about your new hangout. To contact us, just go to our website, www.notwithoutcoffee.com. Take care and remember to always keep brewing.